Good day everyone, welcome back to Science, Technology, and Society course. So for this video, I'm going to discuss the science and technology and nation building. So after this video, the viewers are expected to discuss the role of science and technology in Philippine nation building, describe the organization of the Philippine Science and Technology Agenda, explain how major development programs of the Department of Science and Technology or the DOST have contributed to national development, and lastly, cite the importance of science-related programs and projects in the development of the Philippine economy. So science and technology plays an integral part in human development and the society. A science and technology fakes ignorance, increase perception of a pack or a situation, and awaken ability to use resources and creativity to improve the quality of life and sustainable environment. Various significant changes that happen in the society are brought by science and its technology. But my question is, what does happen in Philippine settings? So let's see. So Philippines has harmonized national research and development agenda. It was uh, prepared by the Department of Science and Technology or the DOST in collaboration with the government and other private agencies to make certain that uh, all the science and technology and the boards are directed to award the realization of economic and social benefits of mankind. So, HNRDA was in line with the ambition natin 2040. This is the uh, program of the Department of Science and Technology that the primary aim is to have matatag, maginhawa, at panatag na buhay para sa lahat. The ambition natin 2040 has three pillars, the malasakit, the enhancing the social fabric, pagbabago, reducing inequality, and kaunlaran, increasing potential growth. So this is the conceptual framework of Ambition Natin 2040, where the primary aim is to achieve the main goal of the program, which is matatag, maginhawa, at panatag na buhay para sa lahat by 2040 through the help of the HNRDA and strengthening the three pillars of Ambition Natin 2040, which are matatag, pagbabago, and kaunlaran. Now, I'm going to tackle the National Harmonized Research and Development Agenda one by one. To begin, let me discuss the first agenda, the NIBRA, or the National Integrated Basic Research Agenda. To express support in the Philippine Development Plan, National Security Plan, and the Science for Change program led by the Department of Science and Technology, the NIBRA focused on the basic principle of research. It has six programs, namely water security or two big program to big ay buhayin at ingatan second food and nutrition security sapat program sa ng pagkain para sa lahat third health sufficiency or the likas program likas yaman sa kalusugan then fourth clean energy alert program alternative energy research trend PIP, Sustainable Community, Saklaw Program, or Saklolo Salawa. And then six is the inclusio, Inclusive Nation Building or Atin Program ang tinig natin. Second agenda under HNRDA is the Health Research and Development Agenda. The collaborating agencies uh, for Health Research and Development Agenda are the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, and the National Unified Health Research Agenda. The research priorities for this agenda includes uh, the diagnostic, drug discovery and development, functional food, hospital equipment and biomedical devices, information and communication technology for health, nutrition, food quality and safety, disaster risk reduction, climate change adaptation, and uh, molecular technologies for health. Next, the agriculture, aquatic, and natural resources. The research priorities for agriculture, aquatic, and natural resources include uh, crops, 
livestock, aquaculture, forestry, natural resources and environment, technology transfer, socioeconomics, and policy research. Next is the industry, energy, and emerging technologies or emerging technology, the Philippine Council for Industry, Energy, and Emerging Technology Research and Development is responsible for the implementation of research priorities of this agenda. The research priorities focus on food and nutrition security, countryside development, competitive industry, delivery of social services, intelligent transport solution, renewable energy, and energy storage solutions. Next is the Disaster Risk Reduction and Climate Change Adaptation. The research priorities for this agenda were evaluated and finalized by a group of people from the Philippine Institution of Volcanology and Seismology or the PBOLCS and the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA. Uh, its research priorities are for the improvement of monitoring and forecasting hazard, vulnerability, and risk assessment. Then we will proceed to the agencies responsible for the implementation of the Harmonized National Research and Development Agenda. DOST is the lead agency responsible for the preparation of the HNRDA. Then we have National Research Council of the Philippines that promote and support basic researches in the country. Then the PCHRD, the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development. It is the coordinating body for health researches in the country. Then the Philippine Council for Industry, Energy, and Emerging Technology Research and Development. It is the uh, agencies that strengthen and support in re research and development of human resource and institution for the um, evaluation and the harmonization of the agenda for disaster risk reduction and climate change. We have PBOLCS or the Philippine Institute, Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. Then for the uh, responsible for typhoon signals and tsunami alerts, the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or the PAGASA. Then the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resor Resources Research and Development. This uh, conducts a roundtable consultation with a representative from other agencies doing uh, research and development function in agriculture, aquatic, and natural resources. These are the Philippine government policies pertaining to science and technology. Uh, we have RA10055, known as the Philippine Technology Transfer Act of 2009. Uh, the primary aim of this is to provide framework of support system for the ownership, management, use, and commercialization of intellectual property. Then we have RA 2067, known as Science Act of 1958. This is a uh, focuses on integration, coordination, and intensification of scientific and technological research and development and postering inventions to provide funds and for other purposes. So now uh, I'm going to discuss the major science and technology development programs in the Philippines. So DOST is the prime mover in the formulating policies and rules in the science and technology disciplines that help in uplifting the country's economic status. One of its major uh, program called the Balik Scientist Program. So, Balik Scientist Program was uh, launched and developed in 1975. This was used to, uh, or this was created to motiv motivate well-trained overseas Filipino experts in their own fields to come home to the Philippines and share their expertise for the acceleration of the scientific, agro-industrial, and economic development of the country. Then another, we have irradiated Karaginan Fertilizer. 
So, it was funded by the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources uh, Research and Development. This product was boost the resiliency of uh, rice plants, increasing the yields by 60%, or by 65% rather. Next is the 50 million word program, the Carabita Organic Fertilizer. The program will benefit uh, at least 30,000 hectares of rice land and, in, and it has been tried in the fields of Pulilan, Bulacan, Los Baños, Cabanatuan, Nueva Ecija, and Iloilo. Another feather was added to the cup of the DOST R&D when they completed the electric train project in 2015. So this was created to enhance the efficiency of public mass transport system. The electric train project was adopted by the Department of Transportation and Communication. Then lastly is the Project NOAA. This is the more accurate and responsive disaster prevention and mitigation system. It was created to the collaboration of the agencies, namely Department of Science and Technology, PBOLX, and ASTI, with the help of the University of the Philippines National Institution of Geological Sciences, or UPNIGS, and the UP College of Engineering. The project began in 2012 and completed in 2015 so that technology and output of the project will be turned over to Pagasa. Project NOAA has several components. First is the CHASAM or the Coastal Hazard and Storm Surge Assessment and Mitigation. Next is the Dream uh, LIDAR or Dream LIDAR. Disaster Risk Exposure Assessment for Mitigation, Light Detection, and Raging Project. Then third is uh, distribution of uh, hydrometeorological devices in hard-hit areas in the Philippines. Then fourth, enhancing geohazard mapping to uh, LIDAR technology. Fifth is the Flood Information Network Project. Six is Landslide uh, Sensor Devices Project. Seven is the local devices of, drop, of Doppler uh, radar system. And last is the weather hazard information project. So these are the contents of this topic. Uh, the Philippine Science and Technology Agenda and Development Programs. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.